Welcome to my channel. If you have Windows 11 Home installed on your computer or laptop, but you want to get a more advanced Windows 11 Pro, then this video tutorial is for you. First, I'll show you which version of Windows I have on my computer. I open Explorer, right-click this computer, and select Properties. Here we see that I have Windows 11 Home. I go down a little and click product key and activation. Then I open this tab. Here we see two ways to upgrade to Windows 11 Pro. Click here, this will be the first way. To get Windows 11 Pro in the first way, you will need to pay about $100, you click install and then follow the system's recommendations. The purchase takes place online, and if you choose this method, you need to prepare for payment in advance. The second method is simpler and can cost you less, and possibly completely free. If you have an old Windows 10 Pro key lying around, you can reuse that key to activate an upgrade from Windows 11 Home to Windows 11 Pro at no extra cost. In fact, you can use the product key from those versions of Windows to perform a clean install or upgrade to Pro. I must say that in this case, the old product key can only be applied once. After upgrading from Windows 11 Home to Windows 11 Pro, the digital license will be tied to specific computer hardware and also to your Microsoft account. To start the update in the second way, you need to click Change Product Key, enter another key in the window that opens and click Next. I also need to say that there are many offers on the internet to buy an activation key for little money, for example, on this website the cost of one key for Windows 11 Pro is about $10, but this is an OEM key and with such a key you can activate only the new installed Windows 11, and it is not suitable for updating Windows 11 Home. Now I will tell you how to prepare for the update. All your photos, videos, documents and other data will remain unchanged after the update, but you can play it safe and back up important files. Now we need to see how much free space on the C drive, there are more than 160 gigabytes of free space on my drive, and this is more than enough. Disconnect the printer, scanner, and other external devices from your computer, save your work, and close all applications. Then you need to check the current system updates. Click Start, Settings, then Windows Update, and here click Check for Updates. Install the latest updates, reboot your computer, and click Start again, Settings, then System, and on the right, open the Activation tab. Then open the tab, Upgrade your version of Windows. To get the update in the first way, click Upgrade in the Microsoft app. Here you need to click Install. The system reminds you to save important data, click Yes, and then follow the system's recommendations. Second way. I click Change Product Key. Open a pre-prepared document with a product key on the desktop. Copy. Then left click in the window, Control key, V key. Next. The system makes the last warning. I'm ready for the update and press Start. You don't need to do anything else, just wait for the update process to finish. The computer will automatically reboot several times, and you will get Windows 11 Pro. The update process is complete, and I log into Windows. On the desktop, we immediately see a system message that the process was successful. Let's check and open the Windows specification. Yes, the update process was successful, and my computer has Windows 11 Pro. We also see that all files and application icons remain unchanged. I hope that what I have told you was interesting and was able to help you, if you found it useful, please share my video with anyone. Thank you very much for your attention to my video. Have a nice day everyone.